So this is the old Vega. I think this was a style N or a style F, but you can see this pot must have been left in the water at some point. Uh, and it's, I can't imagine that it could possibly do anything to help the sound quality of it when it's like that. So I'm going to be pulling these shoes off it to go on the uh, new Dynaflow banjo. And we'll get them cleaned up as good as we can while we're waiting for it to come back from Stan's house. Okay. Charlie's getting a treat, ain't he? He's such a good boy. Yeah. Good buddy. He's yeah. a good boy. Yeah. He's Charlie. He's Charlie. He's got big feet. <laughs> Look how big your feet are. You got huge feet, buddy. Yeah. We like That's that. It. I'm sorry, I'm sitting here with a bag of treats. That's good pee pee. <laughs> <laughs> It's like 19 degrees today. I just went outside to get some screwdrivers and my fingers froze to them as soon as I touched them. I'm sitting here playing with a pile of banjo parts and banjo pots and thinking. I, I was earlier <laughs> talking about pulling these shoes off of this old banjo thing and putting them on the uh, Dynaflow and you know the way this thing has I, I mentioned earlier that it had been in the water these old bolts are obviously they're not brass they're metal and they're rusted literally rusted right into place there and uh, I got one out and I uh, kind of took a look at it all and I thought I don't really know you know I that last Dynaflow I put together, I put together out of spare parts and did it pretty inexpensively and I thought, well, wouldn't it be nice to buy some nice nickel-plated brass shoes and bolts from a Dynaflow? So I went over and priced some out and I thought, well, maybe I can swing that in a week or two. So I think what I'm going to do is leave this one along. And I got to looking at this one, which is really, this was the first banjo I ever had. The pot is anyway. The neck was warped beyond belief. And this is really just an old piece of press board thing. I only just stuck that neck on there just to get a rough idea what it sounded like. Uh, and I was thinking, well, what if I, instead of giving up on that old pot, what if I uh, I sold that uh, that old uh, Fairbanks the other day, and the guy that got it said he wanted me to send him the postal envelope that I used to have on there for a head. Apparently he got quite a kick out of that, and I was thinking, well, you know, that wasn't, that's kind of a fun idea. What if I took this old, what if I took that old pot, it's not much good for anything anyway, and strung it up and put a postal envelope head on there and put this neck on it. That's a thought. Well, that's, that is some ugly looking setup right there. I'm just telling you. I kind of like having pieces and parts to play with. But for right now, I kind of like just sitting and playing too. So I've been playing this one some more. I'm really liking that particular banjo. That's the old Supertone. And it's funny, I was just about ready to sell this and then I played it, I cleaned it up, I played it. And I've really been enjoying the sound of it. Can y'all see Charlie? <clears throat> He's got his head sticking out of the. He got his head sticking out of the covers over here. He's hanging out with me. He's he's my little doggy buddy today. 